get the camera out of there. To the side, to the side, T to the side, to the, no, not that side. Move. <laughs> hey guys, it's VC Cubing, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I received a suggestion from Chloe Parker to show how to make G perms easier. Let's put it that way. And it will be based off of one algorithm, and we are going to modify it in a few different ways. There are four cases, which means you are going to have G perm show up a lot more than other uh, permutations. So this hopefully will be helpful to Chloe Parker and other people as well. Let's go. So basically, I have this sheet right here. I'm not very good at drawing, which is why this is really not clean. Um, where we are going to be going off of one algorithm, the base algorithm, and this algorithm will be going to be modifying in some ways. I have it. We are going to have it reversed and also mirrored. This means instead of doing it the right-handed way, like this, we're going to be doing it reversed. So that algorithm, but uh, flipped around. And we are also going to be doing it left-handed. Now, it may seem very hard, but trust me, it isn't. It, it's, it's easier than you think. Now, I am not left-handed or ambidextrous in, by any means. I am 100% right-handed. I cannot right draw or draw with my left hand. I am just very used to doing this with my left hand, which is why I use my left hand a lot in cubing, like this. So instead of doing this algorithm, which is a bit harder to do, instead of doing that, uh, I do it like this, which is the usual J perm, and I can do it the other way around with my left hand, and it makes things a lot faster and cleaner and more efficient. So that's why I think this is the best method, but it might not be, you can just learn the other algorithms but I prefer doing this. So this is the base G perm, and this is where the algorithm is going to be coming in. So as you can see, we are going to be telling these uh, G perms apart by the position of these, these headlights and this block. If you have your headlights on the left, you have uh, four positions which the block can be in. It can either be right here, right here, like in this, which is going to be the base algorithm. We're going to have it either here, here, where my index and middle finger are, here, or here. This is where the look ahead will come in, if you know what I mean. So. The first algorithm is where you have the headlights on the left and the block in front right here. You want to have the block matching the color. It doesn't have to be, but remember that if you do it like this and you do the algorithm, you aren't going to have to do any other U moves, but there is a U move at the end, so it kind of makes sense. So basically, you're going to hold the cube with the block facing you and the headlights on the left and you're going to do the algorithm r2 u r prime u r prime u prime r u prime r2 you're going to do u prime and d at the same time simply by holding the cube like this and pushing with your index and ring finger whilst holding this edge piece with your thumb then do r prime flick and do a U, R, and you're going to do the same thing, but on the right here, you're going to put your thumb on the right edge and push your index and ring finger so that you do a U, D prime at the same time. And that is the base algorithm. Let me show that again a bit quicker. So that's kind of how it would look if it was done quickly. So... You can usually perform this pretty fast as long as you practice and memorize this. It should be pretty straightforward. 
So this is the next easiest one, and that is to do the algorithm reverse. Basically, you're going to take that algorithm and flip it upside down. You're going to put the R2 at the beginning, at the end. You're going to put the U primes, U primes into U, and so on. And that would make um, the DU prime move, again, that I showed you. R prime, U prime, R, U D prime. R2, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R, U prime, R2 prime. R2 prime makes it a bit more comfortable instead of doing that and regripping. It just makes it a little more smooth and comfortable. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you have the headlights on the left, this block will be right here. You want to hold the block in front, again, with the headlights in the back. And you're going to do the algorithm. It can be done pretty fast, just like the other one. Uh, at the end, I did do this, which was kind of weird. I don't know why. <laughs> but, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, and it is the complete reverse. So, if you do the first algorithm, like this, and you do the second algorithm that I just showed you, you will end up with a solved cube. So this is where things get a little bit complicated for most people, and we are moving into the left-handed algorithms. And, well, the first of all, let me show you the case. You have the block in front as usual, and if you hold the headlights on the left, the block is up here. Hold it on the on, in the front. You should have your headlights on the right. Now, this doesn't have to be exist this exact color scheme if you're uh, doing other colored crosses. You could have it on yellow, green, and any other color, but this is following the basics. You'll always have it a headlights and a block in G perm. So then you are going to perform the maybe not so comfortable algorithm for most people, but trust me, it gets comfortable after some practice, which is L two prime, U prime, L, U prime, L, U, L prime. U, L2 prime, U D prime, L, U prime, L prime, U prime D. And this is a little bit faster when you get to practice it a little bit. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, some people are not very used to doing left-handed moves, and that is perfectly fine, but if you get into the habit, habit of doing some cubing algorithms and be dextrix or i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but you know what i mean to do it two-handed uh, it really helps you out a lot and makes some solves faster and you can save a really good solve moving on to the next one so this is the final g perm and if you hold the headlights on the left you have the block right here so headlights and the block is right here. You want to hold it in front. You have the headlights in the back. And you have it kind of aligned facing to the right. Now this one is the mirrored reverse. You're doing it on the left. And you're reversing the algorithm. You do U D prime as one move. L U L prime. U prime and D as one move. L two prime. U prime. L u prime l prime u l prime u l2 and this is a little bit faster when you get to practice a little bit so yeah i really hope that video helped you out when it comes to your g perms um so as i said if you find this a bit difficult you can always rewatch the video go at different times if you want but yeah that's how you do g perms or how i do g perms and when you get to practice this they can get a bit fast now g perms even no matter if you get an algorithm that you can do it really really fast it will still be a very annoying case because there are four of them and that is the most or the biggest pack of algorithms that are in PLL 
and they are more likely to show up. So, yep, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!